Okay, here we are again for another cuff strap watch. You know, I love making these up, but I got a lot of people that, you know, think that they're not expensive to make. By the way, that's the compass. Take a look at that compass. Works absolutely perfect. By the way, you can also take it out. It actually comes out of the watch itself. You can move it out. You can leave it in. And over here we have a beautiful HMT, His Majesty's Troops, with the British Broad Arrow. You can notice I did a um, re-restoration uh, of the illumination. I don't think it really had that much illumination. See? What do you think? Awesome. And uh, when we look at this, it looks absolutely awesome, but better than that, um, look, I can't take a watch like this and service it and overhaul it and all that for under 125 bucks. I mean, it's not an expensive watch. And this right here, I got about 40 bucks in it, you know, but then we get to the bottom. See the bottom? Okay. See this right here? What is this in here? You know, I tell people how cool this is. Try and do it one hand, one hand to take it out. This is actually a World War I map from France. I mean, you notice it's oil skin, which is a special paper that's been specially coated. And this is all the way back. I think this, this is actually 1913 is when the date. But it was actually used throughout the war. Most of the maps were done when they did the maps up in 1913. And uh, it's a survival map. Uh, now, when you're looking at this, uh, this is a map of a pretty big area. I mean, I mean, a very, very, very big area. So, through the mileage, I don't have a mileage on here. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's a pretty large area. So, it could be used as a survival map, a military map. And what's awesome about it is, of course, it wasn't in this piece here. I'm the one that put it in there. I'm going to have to put it together after because i got to use both hands to do it. But but look at this. Look at the work that went into this. A lot of work went into this. So what am I going to ask for this? You know, I mean, I mean, if you're going to make me an offer on it, you've got to make a decent offer. That's all there is to it. Because, again, it took money and time. I mean, you don't, you, to you, it doesn't mean that much. And let's go through here. Here we go. That's better. I couldn't. I couldn't wind it with my my left hand. But as you can see, it runs absolutely great. And of course, the way everything works, it's easy to put. You can wear this by itself without the other. This will pop down in, instantaneously. And the back piece. So, mm, I was looking at a, at a couple hundred bucks for this, but. Of course, I could take a little bit less than that, but I can't take 130. That's all there is to it. I can't take 130. I think the map is worth about 40 bucks, and then the compass is worth 40. That's 80. This watch with the re-illumination and the servicing, ah, about 40. As four a 12, it's 120, and about 40 on the on the strap. You know, I mean, let's face it. And then I got my overhead, you know, and the others. So let's stop right there. That's another strap. Bibbidi bobbidi boo. Can I do this one hand? I think I could do this one hand. What do you think? Yeah, if I hold the back down with the other hand, I think I can do it. Mm, probably not. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and just take this, put it back into the inside. There we go. There we go. Oh, that wasn't even all the way in before, was it? It's awesome, man. It's just a neat piece. I mean, if you think about it, you got to think about it. You know, it's a thing. It's a neat piece. It's just a neat piece, you know. And with the map, oh yes, let's get with the map and the base. 
you know, 82nd Airborne, you got, you got, you got 82nd, you got the 101st, I mean, there's only a few that were American, and then the, they, the ones that served in World War One, it was awesome, awesome, when I say awesome, it was awesome. Now, on this, see, all these creases were already in here. So you, you could tell by the way the creases are that the way that it actually folds. Because it's the creases that allow it to fold. Okay, let's see what I get here.